working with a lot of, you know, obviously lots and lots of FBA sellers. Um, what do you, what are the biggest um, hangups people really have before investing in, in working with you guys? The number one thing people is people, they, they don't, they inherently just don't believe that we're going to actually communicate with them and help them. Um, there's a lot of prep centers in this business that, that, like don't actually communicate with their people. They, they bring them on board and then they don't do what they say they're going to do. They don't get them out in 24 to 48 hours or they don't respond to emails or whatever. Um, so explaining to people that literally I do answer my phone, I was going to grab my cell phone, but our 800 number, which shameless plug, 888-483-5879, um, rolls directly to my personal cell phone, which is literally in my hand. Um, I get calls on that and I'll answer the phone. Hi, this is Nathan. And, and like, you then have my personal cell phone number, which I keep on me literally all the time. I took the call the other day at 1130 at night because that's when the client actually had a chance to call me. I'm just sitting there watching TV. Everybody else is asleep. I answered the phone. Why not? Um, I, I re we respond to text messages. You know, we do Facebook messages. It's like, if you look at uh, our, like our website reviews, you'll see that people, um, communication is one of our strongest suits. We actually talk to people. And that's something that is hard to believe because in today's online world, when you can't get a response from anybody or you can only email people, they don't respond or they don't respond timely. Like we, we want to talk to you. That's how we help is communication. That's what we need. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, when people are gun shy because maybe they've worked with another prep center, I've, I've heard some horror stories. I'm sure you have too, when people call you and say, I got screwed over by so-and-so over here or companies that just go out of business and your inventory is uh, missing in action and you have no idea where it is. So of course there's bad players out there, just like there's bad players on Amazon. Um, but, you know, sifting through, you know, trusting your gut and actually just looking at the services that are provided. 